Hello and welcome to today's video. If owning a swimming pool in your backyard is one of your visions, then this video will show you how to convert a shipping container into a swimming pool as a DIY project step by step. Stay tuned to find out how. Welcome back. With up to 2.9 meters in height, 2.4 meters in width, and anywhere from 6 to 12 meters in length, a shipping container can be easily converted into a portable backyard swimming pool. More interestingly, if you live in colder climates, why not consider a shipping container to build a sauna, a steam room, a hot tub, or a jacuzzi? Stay tuned to find out how you can make your own swimming pool using a 40-foot shipping container. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for our weekly videos on amazing design ideas using shipping containers. Let's get started and enjoy the video. To convert a shipping container into a swimming pool, you need to follow the following steps. Step number one you need to get planning permission. First, get planning permission from your local council and investigate any regulations regarding to depth, fencing, and any other things that might get into your way of constructing your own shipping container swimming pool. Keep in mind that it may take longer than imagined depending on your local authority. You will need approval drawings done by an engineer to aid you with the council application. After obtaining planning permission from your council or your local authority, the second step to do is to construct the pool foundation. You need to decide on where you want to position your swimming pool and level out that area slightly bigger than the container itself. So if you are using a 40-foot shipping container like in this particular project, you will need to do a space that is slightly bigger than 12 meters in length and slightly bigger than 2.4 meters in width. So to ensure that the shipping container pool is on a solid base, a minimum of 150 kPa concrete slab is recommended. However, the foundation base and footings may vary depending on your local soil conditions and you are encouraged therefore to consult a local engineer on the correct bearing capacity of the footings to use. The pool can be installed either as an above ground container pool or an in ground swimming pool. An above ground container pool will be delivered as a complete product with little or no additional work to do other than filling it up with water and connecting the pump to the mains. This will help you to save on time and money. If you want a more interactive pool with the ground, then an in-ground pool will be an option for you. Most container pools are designed to work best above the ground, and therefore it can be partially recessed in ground on a sloping site by cutting and filling the site to level it out. In addition, a retaining wall must be built around it so that you protect it from getting into contact with the soil. With the reduced pool height, the safety aspect of your pool might be affected and an additional childproof fencing might be required. And step number three, you will have to decide on the depth of your pool and the size of the swimming pool you want. Containers are 2.6 meters high for regular containers and 2.9 meters for high cubes. Work out the depth that you require and cut the container to size. Pool depth can vary dependent on your container size or whether you are after a shallow kid-friendly pool or a pool that is more aligned for lap swimming. 
with up to 2.9 meters in depth for the high cube containers, the claustrophobic feel of swimming at that particular height would probably be too much. If you are using a high cube container, you can cut the container into half and create two container poles to save on money, especially if you are doing it for commercial purposes. This will give you two poles with maximum depth of 1400 millimeters, that is roughly 1.45 meters. With a depth of 1400 millimeters, it is ideal to have a pool with the same depth. A distinctive shallow and deep end of the pool may not be practical at this depth. The pool width is fixed at 2.4 meters, which is the same width of a swim line in a public swimming pool, and therefore two people can easily swim up and down your new container swimming pool. Install a lip around the edge that covers any sharp edges for safety as well as reinforcing the structure of the container to hold the gallons of water. For an above ground container pool, a portion of one wall can be cut away to create room for a viewing window which will help to reduce the claustrophobic feel of swimming in a narrow shipping container. So the fourth step is to do proper structural design. This is the most critical aspect of a shipping container swimming pool design. Why? Because holding water inside a container box can be very tricky. Water can also be quite heavy. You need an input from a structural engineer at this particular point. Shipping containers are generally designed to be watertight to keep water from getting inside the container from outside. However, they are not designed to hold any water from the inside. Ideally, containers are designed to hold their weight on the base and the corners of the structure. Therefore, the container should be strengthened to hold all that extra weight of water that is pushing out from the inside onto the walls of your shipping container. It is advisable to ring the container with at least two rings of 50 by 100 rectangular hollow section steel channels on the outside wall of your container, preferably at a third and two thirds position of your pool, depending on the depth. The deeper the pool, the more the reinforcement. Add a 4 mm thick 200 by 100 rectangular hollow section steel channel top rail as a pool coping to the top edge of the pool to give it uh, the much needed strength to hold in the gallons of water for your pool. You are encouraged to weld a 150 millimeter wide flat plate onto the top rail and the container lip so that it can act as a water barrier to prevent water spillage from the pool during swimming. You are encouraged to finish the top coping with a timber cladding along the entire perimeter of your pool for a smoother curb or container lip and also to increase the aesthetic appeal of your pool. It is advisable to install a child safety door to your swimming pool. The doors should be lockable to prevent children from sneaking under the pool. You are also encouraged to introduce a partition right after the staircase landing to separate the pool area from the deck area. Introduce another partition midway perpendicular to the door frame to secure the partition and the door frame and also separate the stairs from the pump room. You also need to add a secure landing area immediately after the stairs and secure the pool deck area on top of the pump room. Consider using composite decking as an alternative material to conventional timber because composite decking is resistant to tough weather conditions and also this makes it a good option for low maintenance uh, finish. Ensure the doors to the filter room have enough louvers for adequate ventilation to take care of the heat pump. You may be required by law 
to place a fence around your pool. Consider installing steps or a safety ladder for convenient access to the pool from the deck by children. Steps are more practical when using a fiberglass insert, whereas a safety ladder is more appropriate with a watertight welding approach. Add a comfortable underwater bench at the extreme end of the pool to sit after several swim laps. In addition, it's advisable to install a customizable edge insert and a protective stainless steel railing around the perimeter which starts from the deck and runs a full length of the shipping container pool to ensure children will always have a place to stand and hold for safety. Provide two ladders with one at the extreme end of the container for emergency exit. All these accessories and anchor points should be welded onto the container before waterproofing. You are encouraged to mark out and cut out all plumbing and electrical points on your container pool before you embark on the waterproofing process. Once your structure is now rigid and strong enough to hold water, you need to move to the most critical bit of waterproofing. So the next step is, is to waterproof your container so that it can hold water and become a swimming pool. Waterproofing by making a container watertight is one of the biggest challenges of converting a shipping container into a swimming pool. While containers are designed to be watertight from the outside, they generally are not designed to hold water from the inside. So, how do you go about making your container watertight to hold all that amount of water that will become your new swimming pool? The following waterproofing methods can be used to make your container pool watertight. One of the ways you can do this is by using a fiberglass insert. The second alternative to fiberglass when you want to waterproof your shipping container, you can also use what we call a PVC liner. Thirdly, you can also use a waterproof cement plaster. The fourth method, which we are also going to use in this particular project to waterproof our container pool is called watertight welding. Shipping containers are generally lined with plywood floor, which is not the best at holding water. In this concept of our shipping container, we want to make it watertight by welding it in a similar way to what they do to steel tanks that are used for holding water. To achieve watertight welding, an additional layer of 12 gauge steel is welded onto the inside of the container before rust treating and painting both the inside and outside of the container. To achieve the best paint protection results whereby you have three different coats of paint to use. Coat 1, apply a marine grade epoxy after priming your containers both inside and outside. Secondly, put the second coat of anti-corrosive metal prime and lastly, you need to put the final and the third coat of marine grade top coat enamel in a color of your choice. Some of these paints are good enough to be applied even underwater and therefore this makes it very possible for you to do repairs of your shipping container whenever you spot any rust during its usage. To achieve the best results during your welding process, you are advised to use a certified welder or at least someone with considerable experience because you need quality welding that is not only strong but also watertight. The advantage of using watertight welding on your shipping container project, it allows you to install a viewing window into the side wall of your shipping container pool. The sixth step is proper plumbing and insulation of pool equipment. 
you need to mark and cut out all plumbing and electrical points before waterproofing. Consider the plumbing aspects of your new pool such as drainage, water circulation and filtration. The pool filtration system and additional pool storage is housed underneath the pool deck and can be easily accessed through the resized original double swing container cargo doors. If you intend to use your pool all around the year, then you will require to heat up the pool during cold weather. So the seventh and the last step is to install proper finishes and add any extras that you feel are appropriate for you. So most shipping containers are made from high grade marine cotton steel, making it an ideal exterior finish for any weather. You can however clad the exterior of your shipping container with a different material if the original container corrugations are not your cup of tea. But keep in mind, the cladding might affect the safety aspects of your pool because the horizontal boards might allow a child to climb up the pool which might pose a safety risk. You can also put graffiti or paint a mural of your choice on the exterior of your shipping container pool. Once you are settled on the type of exterior finish you need, the next and the last step is to landscape around your pool with some potted plants and a bit of hard landscaping so that you are able to put additional outdoor furniture to enhance usability of and around your swimming pool. Last but not least, fill the pool with water and enjoy the swim. You can also explore several extras for your pool such as electronic monitoring systems, remote controlled and programmable LED underwater pool lights, you can also install swim jets, a pool cleaner, and even a retractable pool cover. So, did you find our presentation informative enough to enable you fabricate your own swimming pool? Let us know by posting in the comments below. If you like our design and you would like to carry out your DIY project, come again. If you like our design and you'd like to carry out a DIY project of your own swimming pool, you can purchase detailed drawings of this pool design from our website sheltermode.com. In the coming weeks, we will be covering different designs for swimming pools, jacuzzis, steam baths, saunas, and whirlpools using 20 and 40 foot shipping containers so stay tuned to find out more about these designs as we post them if you like the video give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it remember to subscribe to our youtube channel for our weekly updates on videos remember to subscribe to our youtube channel for our weekly videos on amazing design ideas using shipping containers Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.